Hello, my darling loves. Welcome to your singles love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. This is going to be for new love, okay? Um, so, my loves, if you are looking for crystals, um, you can visit Kim K Crystals. The link for her website is below. Uh, she does go live on Facebook every Friday night. Um, I do choose one winner for a free reading every Friday night at that event, okay? Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to this channel. I do choose multiple winners every single week. Um, I give away a bunch of stuff. The list of what I give away is in the description box below. Just be sure to hashtag what you would like to manifest in the description, it, excuse me, in the comment section below. Hashtag it, put it in the comment section below, which you would like to manifest in this giveaway. Um, I would recommend doing two or three different things because it heightens your uh, your chances of winning, okay? So click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced, okay? Um, do not uh, accept any inquiries for a reading in the comment section. Those are scammers, okay? If you would like a personal reading, only email the email in the description box below, okay? And if you'd like to check out Patreon, I am on Patreon for $11.11 .11 a month. The link is in the description box below, all right? Okay, so let's get started here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my single cancers, please, spirit. What messages do we have here today for my single cancers? New love, please, spirit. What messages do my single cancers need to hear today for new love, please? Okay, so we have ego driven, we have romance, and we have philia love. Interesting. Okay, let's see what we have here. So we have ego driven. Your twin flame could be stuck in ego, and that is what's keeping them unaware of who they really are as a soul. This mask could be due to fears. So I feel here, um, Cancer, that this new love interest coming into your life may be very proud, okay? They may be very much uh, in their ego. This person could be a twin flame, doesn't have to be. I feel like this person can't ever truly reach their full potential or have anything meaningful because they feel like they have to constantly have this persona or their ma this mask on, okay? And there's this fear of failure. What if I fail? What if it doesn't work? What if I look stupid? You see what I'm saying? Now, here we've got romance. Open yourself up to love. It's your time to receive. Stay open-minded during this time and allow the flow of love to heal you. So, Cancer, this new person that's coming into your life, um, they fear falling in love because they don't want to look stupid. This person fears rejection. This person sees love as weakness, Cancer, okay? So, this person coming into your life, they feel that, you know, to love someone is to give that power to them, which isn't necessarily wrong, okay? It's not necessarily wrong, Cancer, um, but they can't handle the thought of that weakness. They can't handle the thought of their heart in someone else's hands and having someone else hurt them. So we have here philia love. Don't lock into tunnel vision on romantic love as the only possibility for the situation. Some twin flames are better off as friends, Okay, so I feel cancer that the advice here when dealing with somebody like this, okay, is to start off as friends. Start off as friends to not um, pressure this person into a full-blown commitment, to not go too fast with this person. That's really what I'm picking up off of that card. Um, I don't necessarily that you're going to end up being this person's friend, to be honest with you. Um, I feel like this person is, you're going to teach this person how to open up. You're going to teach this person how to receive love. I feel like you're going to teach this person um, how beautiful love can be, to be honest with you. Um, but it's going to be a process. It's going to be a process. Spirit, why haven't my cancers found this person yet? Why hasn't my cancers found this person yet? What advice do we have for my cancers? So we have the seven of pentacles. Cancer, 
you have not uh, met this new person yet because you're still missing somebody. You're still stuck in the past. You're still stuck on past mistakes. You may be in an energy where you're still trying to fix your life from mistakes that you've made in the past. Or you may be looking at the past of, nope, I don't want to go through that again, so I'm just going to stay single forever. <laughs> I'm just going to stay in my little crab shell forever. Cancer, we don't do that. You can't do that. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my cancers, please? Sun, moon, oh, okay. Queen of Cups, there you are, Cancerian energy. There you are, Cancer. Okay, I feel like you have an issue here where you may be stuck in the past or you don't want to make the same mistakes that you made in the past. Five of Pentacles. So, Cancer, either someone ghosted you and you're still very sore about this or missing this person, or you need to truly leave the past in the past. You need to stop thinking about someone or something. You need to truly, you know, um, now the five of pentacles, let me just make it clear, you know, in on YouTube, we've turned it into a card of being ghosted and everything, and it can be a representation of that. But ultimately, the five of pentacles is fear. It's fear of uh, abandonment, fear of losing finances, fear of losing your home, fear of losing your person. And, you know, Cancer, I feel like in the past, maybe you were abandoned, uh, possibly by parents or exes or people that you loved. And uh, emotionally, this has scarred you. Okay, emotionally, this has scarred you. And now there's a fear of you know, I don't want to love again because I don't want to get hurt again. And that's why you have yet to meet this person up here. So how do we overcome this, please, spirit? How can my oh, my cancers overcome this, please? Holy spirit, angel spirit. Ooh. We've got the ten of pentacles. So cancer, the ten of pentacles is an energy of completion. It's an energy of reaching and fulfilling romantic and material goals, okay? So I feel like the answer to that question, how do you overcome this, is by having hope again, having vision again, Cancer, knowing what you want and going after it. You definitely don't get to a Ten of Pentacles energy by living in fear or not wanting to leave your house or not wanting to date. Um, reopening your heart space and having that vision of if I invest this one little coin in myself today, if I invest this one little coin in myself tomorrow, I will achieve a ten of pentacles in my life. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my cancers regarding this ten of pentacles? So we've got the full Aries energy taking that leap of faith, cancer. Taking that leap of faith, okay? Taking the risk to open your heart again. So, Cancer, the person that you may be encountering, there you go again, Cancer, um, the person that you may be encountering may possibly be a twin flame or a divine counterpart because it would appear to me, Cancer, that you are both in this energy of fearing to fall in love again. You both may be in this energy where you need to be friends first in order to open up and feel comfortable and safe with one another. That may be... Um, yeah, I feel like you and your person with the Six of Cups either both had a very negative childhood or both have been um, mistreated pretty badly by exes, okay? So, Cancer, what can you do to meet this person? What can you do to meet this person, please? Spirit, what can my Cancers do to meet this person? So, we have the Eight of Swords, okay? You got to get out of your head, Cancer. You're stuck in your head. It's like... Everything, every every person you meet, it's like they're up to something. You have this paranoid thing about people that maybe even pushes people away. So you have to get out of your head, okay? You have to get out of your head. You have to get out of the house. Uh, maybe you have... Um, gotten into this energy of just, you know, locking yourself away into your house or not wanting to go out, you know, you'd be surprised. Um, I've went through this myself where you have a, a paranoia with people, a fear of even dealing with people. Um, every time you talk to someone, yep. And what's your advice? Yep. What are you going to put me through? Yep. You know, and that's what needs to change here. 
we've got the five of cups you have it in your head here that you're gonna that if you give your heart to someone you're gonna regret it if you believe in love again you're gonna regret it um you have it in your mind that you know someone is going to that you know the person is going to disappoint you with the high priestess spirit is asking you to operate from a higher level of spirituality operate from your higher self okay um you know life should have a sense of mystery to it and that's what life is all about we don't always need to know exactly what's going to happen tomorrow um you know that's the whole point of waking up a new day a new dawn we never know what life is going to bring to us okay um so i feel like you know what you need to do to meet them is release let go let god spirit where will my cancers find this person where do we see my cancers finding this person please five of wands and the nine of wands Some of you may be taking a course, uh, a defensive course. This, you know, obviously may resonate with one or two people, but some of, of you may get into boxing. Some of you may be at the gym. You're going to meet this person when you're fighting for something. I feel like it's going to be a situation where you put a lot of energy into it and then you're tired afterwards. So I'm picturing maybe the gym or at work. Um, jogging, walking, doing some type of physical activity. Um, maybe you go to see a fight. Maybe you go to see a game because this is competition. So it could be a sports game maybe. You see what I'm saying? It's something where like there's a big commotion and then afterwards there's like, you know, tiredness, right? So you may meet this person at an event like this. You may also meet this person when you are tired of fighting yourself. <laughs> when you get, when you finally give in and you get tired is when you may meet this person. Spirit, what messages do we have here for this five of wands energy and this um, nine of wands energy? This person, okay, wait, two of wands. You know, two of wands is a representation of kind of watching something from a distance. I feel like it's a game. I feel like you're going to like a theater or a game or something where there's a lot of exertion and then like there's a, t a, a sense of tiredness at the end. The chariot, Cancerian energy. Yeah, you may like go out, even dancing. Like, I don't know, like maybe, I don't know with Corona if anything's even open, but there's a sense of like exertion, like dancing or something like that. And then, you know, you're tired afterwards, you go to sit down and you meet this person. You understand? Um, the chariot is making a decision that is going to lead to victory. So you may decide to actually go out. Okay. Um, I feel like, you know, with the five of wands, the nine of wands and the two of wands, you may have a friend or a family member that fights with you to go out until finally you give in and making this decision is going to lead to victory. So someone may want you to go out and do something and you got these people fighting with you. Your friends may be like, oh my God, you haven't left the house in like a month. You know, come on, let's go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You may have people that are fighting with you to go out until you finally give in with that nine of wands. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages. When will my cancers find this person, please? When will my cancers find this person? Queen of Swords just popped out. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy. When you stop looking like you're going to shank everybody cancer <laughs> this you know listen as humans okay we forget that you know as humans we have instincts too do you understand what i'm saying just like animals have instincts we have instincts too um we can sense fear from people we can sense if someone's happy we have senses right and i feel like when people encounter you i feel like they sense that guardedness that need to protect yourself they sense it okay they sense that you're not emotionally available or that you don't want to be bothered spirit when do we see my cancers meeting this person when do we see my cancers meeting this person please when do we see my cancers meeting this person please the ace of pentacles yeah you need to um 
calm down a little bit here, Cancer. You need to have faith in a new beginning. This this new beginning, this prosperous new new situation is going to wow, look at this. Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. And you had the Ten of Pentacles right here. Let me tell you, Cancer, this is gonna come to you when you start to believe in magic again. Okay, that's when this is going to come to you, when you start to believe that, you know, uh, ha in happily ever after again, you have to let that guard down a little bit. That's when this is going to come to you. Okay, spirit, what? Um, oh, excuse me. How will my cancers know when they meet this person? How will my cancers know that this is the one? How, oh, oh, okay. The full card in the reverse. This person is going to be just like you where they don't want to take the leap of faith. This person is going to be just like you where they don't want to take that leap of faith. They don't want to. I don't know what just happened to my deck here. I don't even know. Okay. This person's going to be just like you where they don't want to take that risk. They don't want to take the leap of faith. This person lives in fear just the way you are living in fear. Okay, and you're going to sense that about each other and you're going to find a sense of comfort there. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because it's like they don't want to give and you don't want to give. So this is great. You see what I'm saying? This is great. Spirit, tell me about this fool card. Yep, four of cups. You guys are both unwilling to um, open up emotionally. You're both unwilling to accept love to give love you both are in a place of unhappiness you both have been rejected in love um the lover's card gemini energy i feel like you are gonna know because you're gonna sense that very strong soul tie between you guys you're gonna feel that you guys have a lot in common you're gonna feel that divine counterpart energy you're gonna feel in a sense safe with this person Spirit, what guidance, what advice do we have here for my cancers and their person? What advice do we have here for my cancers and their person? The three of swords. I feel like the advice here, the guidance here is to understand that you have both been very hurt and disappointed in love. You share this. It's what's going to bond you together. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my cancers? What advice do my cancers need to hear regarding this new love, please? We've got the Hermit, Virgo energy. You guys are, are too withdrawn right now. You're too withdrawn, possibly going into a depression over heartache here. Queen of Wands, Leo energy. You got to start believing in magic again here, Cancer. You got to start building up that confidence. You got to get that mojo back. Your advice is you are drowning and wallowing in heartache. I feel like you both are, you and this new person, and it's time to get that mojo back. It's time, time to start believing in magic again. Spirit, what will Cancer's first impression of this person be? What will Cancer's first impression of this person be? The Six of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to feel like this person is very uh, fair. Like, um, how can I put it? If you um, share something with this person, they will share back. If you pay one meal, they will pay for the next. There's there's a there's a, an energy of, you know, whatever you put in, I'll put in. Okay? That is what I'm kind of feeling here. Spirit, what messages? What messages do we have here? The Eight of Swords. And the Three of Wands. So, Cancer, your first impression is that this person is very, you know, fair, okay? Um, I also feel that your first impression of this person is that they have the same... Um, vision for what they wanted out of life but now with that eight of swords energy they're too scared to achieve it just like you 
Like you're going to see here that this person, you know, wants the same things as you. But with that eight of swords, just like you had the eight of swords here, they're too locked up in their head to get to achieve that. Okay. Spirit, what is this person's first impression of my cancers going to be, please? What is my cancer's first impression? Okay. What is my cancer's? What is my cancer's person? They're going to see you as you, Cancer. They're going to see you for who and what you really are. They're going to see you as someone loving, kind, caring, intuitive, nurturing, okay? They're going to see you for you. They're not going to, they're not going to, um, it's like this person can see who and what you really are. They're not looking for superficial and shallow things. Six of Wands. Um, they feel like they've they've they feel very lucky to have met you. They may know. I feel like your person. Um, I feel like your person is gonna see that. Um, kind of like they hit the jackpot in love. Like they just maybe can't believe, like it may seem too good to be true, but temperance here, Sagittarian energy, they see you as a uh, spiritual. They may call, they may like to call you angel. Okay. They may call you an angel. Um, this person sees you as very tender, kind, caring, nurturing. I mean, just very peaceful and very healing. And they see victory in that. Those are the qualities and the traits about you that they love the most. Okay. You may think that what they want is this sexy vixen, okay? They don't. What they love about you is your heart cancer, okay? They're going to love your heart more than anything else, all right? Spirit, what outcome do we see here? What outcome do we see here between these two people, please? What outcome do we see here between these, ooh, these two people, please? Outcome here between these two people, please. We have the Seven of Swords. I feel like with the Seven of Swords here at Cancer, that uh, it could end badly where, you know what I'm saying, you guys leave each other. Um, or it could be that... Uh, it could be that you guys just steal away. That you guys just disappear with each other. That you guys... Let's see here. The world card and the judgment card. So the outcome here is that someone either... I feel like you guys are judging each other as to whether or not... So the outcome is going to be that you guys compare each other to people from your past that have hurt you and there's this constant energy of i need to make a decision whether i should end this or not this is not good cancer that should not be okay there's this constant judging between you and this person between the now and the people that have hurt you that has to stop that has to stop tell me more about the seven of swords energy Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords energy. And the Three of Cups. Page of Swords, the Three of Cups. And the Death card, Scorpionic energy. I feel like someone here... You got to change the way you speak to each other. You have to change the way you speak to each other. So this connection, it's going to, you know, you're going to meet, you're going to feel comfortable with one another. The problem here is, is that you constantly compare each other to people from the past. You're constantly talking about third party energies. And I feel that that third party energy is people from your past, people that have hurt you. And that needs to stop with the death card. Tell me about the three of cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups, Page of Swords, Aquarius. Show. Yeah, trying to find out information. Like you guys, 
and the king of swords yeah see i feel like there's this energy of you're interrogating this person the way you would interrogate the past person that hurts you right so because you've been hurt scammed robbed lied to cheated on the way you speak to this person or the way this person speaks to you is yeah well let me see your phone like it's like you're picking up right where you left off with this past person over here that hurts you so that could be you doing this cancer it could be your other person but someone here is in this energy of oh i know what you're up to i know what you're up to look at how this king of of swords is attacking do you understand what i'm saying and and this is truth this is finding out information so someone here is like i know what you're up to i know the truth i know what you're up to i know you know i i know what you're really doing you understand and that needs to change that needs to change do you understand so that is going to be the challenge here. That is going to be something that you guys both have to uh, work through, okay? What do we see happening here? Please, spirit, between my cancers and this new person. What do we see happening here, please? We've got express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. I feel like if you guys can just calm down and get into this energy of being flirtatious again, loving one another, believing in love again, and feeling comfortable in expressing your love for each other, you'll be fine. And that's what you have to learn to do in this connection, Cancer. And that's what your person has to learn how to do. We've got door to value. Whoa. Whoa. And we've got envy. Um, cancer, so what I'm feeling here in this connection is that this person is going to end up valuing. Like you guys are going to value each other so much that it may spark a lot of jealousy um, from outside people. So that's going to be another issue that you're going to have to face too. Okay. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers? Ooh. We have family. And we have the vast universe. So Cancer, I feel like this is it. This is the person that you're going to have family with. This is the person you may have children with. Or it could be that this person is removing themselves from certain family members or that they are releasing, you know, someone from their past. If they have a family with another person, they are releasing that ex. Um, but I feel like this is it. This is going to be your family. This is your the one from this point forward. Do you understand? There are going to be some trials and tribulations here. The past is a big thing between you and this person. You guys both fear falling in love and you fear you know being hurt again being humiliated again and that needs to stop and I feel like you will work through it though okay because with the death card here I do feel like that's going to end and you know you guys will be able to continue on all right I love you guys bye